Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. This is where we are today. This is where we are today. Who's awake on this early Saturday morning? Who's awake? Don't hit snooze on this day. It's beautiful. Definitely don't hit snooze this morning. <clears throat> We're right here on the border of uh, Cuyahoga and uh, West Hampton. This is the uh, 20 mile ride edition. We ride at dawn. All right, who's getting on? Where's everybody? Can't be sleeping on this weather. Can't sleep on this weather. All right, all right. Good morning, good morning. Saturday morning up here in Long Island, New York, for everyone joining out of the area. Uh, we are in, uh, out in the Hamptons. Uh, right over here is West Hampton. Uh, just on the way in, you'll uh, see the uh, water behind me. That's going out to the bay on this side. That's going inland. We got someone kayaking over there. Maybe I'll go kayaking later. It's gorgeous out. It's absolutely perfect weather. So if you're not outside, get outside. Because days like this don't come every day. So make sure you make it count. So we started this morning uh, with the ride. And uh, first lesson of the day is that, uh, this car pass, is that um, you're going to hit obstacles every day. So I came out to the garage, and I usually got the green mountain bike out here that I ride, and it had a flat tire. So, of course, you know, nothing could be easy. So we had to jump on, and we grabbed the backup bike. We got the uh, red mountain bike here, and uh, we made do. Seems like whenever I try and ride away from home, whether it be upstate New York or out here in the Hamptons, um, we, uh, we always have obstacles, but you know what? We don't give up. I could have said, you know what, flat tire. I'm not doing this today, but we just switch it up, find another bike and keep going. So uh, this is pretty cool, wait until you see this. So uh, that was my first lesson of the day. But then I jumped on uh, the podcast cycle and my buddy Samuel Smith jumped on and uh, he did his Friday. Oh, here we go, check this out. That's so cool. Check that out, that's cool. I dig it. It's an early morning workout there. Definitely might have to kayak later. All right, so back to topic. Sam Smith was on and uh, he was talking about um, basically setting goals, um, which is something we talk about all the time. Um, he says uh, a lot of his coaching clients, he asks them, you know, what do you want to do? And they just simply say, I want to make a million dollars a year. And he says, why? And um, kind of makes sense. Um, why do you need a million dollars a year? What is it that you're looking to do? Because that's a pretty big uh, aspiration. You know, making a million dollars a year isn't something easy to do. Um, and why do you need a million dollars a year? If you, you know, break it down to how much you need to spend per day, what, what house do you want? What cars do you want? What do you want to do for vacation? That type of stuff. Um, it doesn't equal a million dollars a year for most people. So why set that, that goal that's so big, that is unattainable, that will discourage you when you don't get there? Um, set goals that uh, are realistic and then hit them. Uh, I kind of talked about this the other day. When I ride my bike here and I say I'm gonna ride 20 miles, I don't just ride aimlessly 20 miles because if I don't set a destination, I find uh, it just gets overwhelming. So I do, um, it's like this morning, my destination was to come to West Hampton here, right up the block. I'm going to get coffee over at the bakery. 
and uh, I usually sit there and talk to the people a little bit. Um, always everyone's hanging out in a good mood, uh, saying good morning, and I get to meet a lot of people when I sit there and have a little bit of coffee. And then from there, I'm gonna blast down to Dune Road, and uh, once I hit Dune Road, then I'm gonna go out over to uh, Ponquag Bridge, and then from Ponquag Bridge, I'm gonna head back to the house. And that's about, uh, it's probably about seven miles a shot. So I got, I got three seven mile goals, which gets me just over 20 miles for the day. And uh, that makes it a little more attainable because you have something uh, start to finish rather than just an overwhelming, I'm just gonna ride a whole bunch of miles and you know see where it goes. Um, I found, you know, everyone says, oh, how do you do this every morning? You know, I said, a, a destination point, I said that I'm going down to Bay Park. I know that's five, six miles and, and then back. I said I'm going to Woodmere Docks, five, six miles and back. Wherever I'm going, uh, I set that goal, I hit that goal, and then I come back. And I'm, it gives you a sense of accomplishment, um, gives you a sense of winning, and uh, it's just uh, achievable. So it's, you don't get overwhelmed with the process. Um, you know, I look at 365 live of riding a bike 365 days. And, uh, you know, it's one day at a time. I'm not looking at 365 days. It's one day at a time, one ride at a time. And when you add them all together, that gives you your final outcome. So uh, just something to think about in your life. You know, if you, uh, what do you want? Make it realistic and then set target goals to get there so that it's, uh, you don't overwhelm yourself. Because if you get overwhelmed and you don't win, um, you tend to give up. It tends to be a lot. And, um, yeah, definitely peaceful morning, Jenny. So, uh, all right, so that's the message for the day. Uh, what do you really want? Um, be realistic, set those goals, and pick them off one at a time to get to the final big goal. A bunch of little goals to get to a big goal. Um, and uh, you'll find that you get stuff done that way. So, uh, anyway, that said, I'll give you one more look around here. Very peaceful morning. Make sure you get out and enjoy this day. Beautiful out, beautiful out. Hopefully where you live is as beautiful as this. Again, right here on the border of West Hampton, Long Island, New York. Uh, about, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours from Manhattan. And, um, this is where we are. So, all right, so let's jump in morning prayers. Got to keep Father Eugene happy. All right. Got a haircut yesterday. Not too bad. A little convertible hair. Uh, your Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and it is now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good morning. Uh, dear God, please look over all our friends out in the world. Help them to achieve their goals. Help them to not be overwhelmed. Help them to be satisfied. Help them to live life, be happy, and enjoy the journey. Help us all to work together to win. We're all in this together. So let's uh, let's do this together. All right. Amen. All right, everyone. So I am out here in the Hamptons. Uh, if anyone else is out in this way, give me a call. We'll, uh, we'll link up. And uh, we will ride tomorrow morning. And then I got to shoot home. And uh, my son Joey's got baseball games. So we'll go hit Joey's baseball games and then we'll probably swing back out because my daughter wants to come out with all her friends and go in the pool and all that good stuff. So uh, that's the plan. We're going to be out here working on our tan today. I got another uh, about 12 miles to go, something like 12, 13 miles to go. I'll finish up the day and uh, got some real estate stuff going on, stuff in the works. Got a, uh, uh, a co-op coming up in Rockville Center. Um, Got a bunch of stuff going to contract, had a closing this week. Real estate market is still busy. So um, if you're thinking of selling, I got tons and tons of people that want to buy houses. And if you're thinking of buying, you need me on your team because getting a house in this market is not easy. 
Uh, I have relationships and methods out there in the world to get my offers accepted. So deal with me and I'll take care of you. I'm here for you. If anyone ever needs anything, you know where to find me. Uh, shoot me a uh, direct message here on Instagram, wherever you want to find me. And uh, I can help you with anything that you need help with. If you need a friend to lean on, if you need uh, some real estate stuff. Good morning. Um, you need recommendations for contractors, you need whatever you need in life. I'm happy to help. And uh, that's what I do. I try to give back and help my friends. Sorry, right, everyone. God bless. Happy Saturday. Get out and enjoy this beautiful weather. All right, be good.